Hey guys, you see we got marigolds here and we got my bok choy. Planted something new this year, not used to it. Harvesting everything to make a smoothie. I get some kale. Isn't that pretty? These are collard greens. Some more kale. It's for uh, my smoothie. I just planted these tomatoes about two days ago. And if you notice, I put uh, basil between them. I've never tried that before. It's supposed to make your tomatoes taste better. What I do is I cut the stems off like that as I'm putting it in. I'm going to boil these stems to make a broth. My mom likes that. Cold broth is the base of my smoothie. Instead of using just filtered water, that kind of gives me a little bit more nutrition. A little dirt. I'll basically get the idea. Let me go ahead and finish that. Look at all that. That's at least $30 if I went and bought it. And if you see, I shredded the bok choy, the kale, and the collard greens from the stems. Left quite a bit of leaves on it. Didn't try and trim it close. Reason being, and I've got, let's see. Here, these are peaches, that's beans, there we go. I've got two days worth. So we got a lot in here. So I'm just gonna put it in the sink, filter some water, cover it, bring it to a, uh, probably to a bowl right at it. Turn the fire off and just let it seep. Pull all that nutrition out and that's gonna be broth to drink. Balled, not the water to a ball. All these stems. From the collars, the kale, and the bok choy. I, I wanted six jars. And if I would have put three, what am I doing? <laughs> if I would have put uh, three quarters water, I'd have had exactly six quarts. Probably what I should have done is poured seven quarts of water in here, counted for about one quart evaporation, and then uh, it would have been perfect. So there you go guys, uh, two ways that uh, I try to live healthier, uh, one, I remember where I learned about the green smoothie, kind of really, really helped me, that was about probably six years ago I started doing the green smoothie, and uh, now I try and do it out the garden as much as I can, and then mom showed about the broth. Let me uh, get the little smoothie y'all can see it. Guys, I'm not going to bore you with uh, mixing all this in front of you because, well, I'll be honest, it'd be kind of boring. We can make it interesting, but it's not. What we got here is bok choy, kale, and collard greens, which I'm in the garden. Uh, never did it before, nor have I done kale and or collard greens. And as you can see, it just grew like crazy. If I had to buy this fresh, I'm guessing somewhere around $20. Cost me uh, probably about 30 cents if it did that with seeds. So what I put in my green smoothie, these greens, two bananas, an apple, pear, a couple of prunes, cranberry juice, really good for your urinary tract. Also, I tend to put broth in it that I make with the stems, but I happen to be out uh, because I saved them to make a large pot, which was just really dumb, but that's what I did. 
you know, you live and you learn. I really like this. A friend of mine uh, that's uh, really into fitness, used to do fitness shows. She switched over to the green smoothie. This is what she said. The same thing I find, more energy or consistent energy. You don't get tired. Uh, one of the things I notice, my skin gets softer. I tend to get a little bit more coloration in my skin, more different tones. Uh, instead of just being white uh, all the way through, you start seeing like I get more tan. I don't burn as easy. Uh, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but that's what I've noticed. Uh, my hair tends to get a little bit softer. I just overall, I do better. I think it's from the nutrition in the greens uh, that's not killed because it's not cooked. Uh, you're eating it raw, but I don't know. I just know it works for me. I'll make it. The other thing I almost forgot is uh, garlic. I put garlic in it sometimes. Uh, you're gonna have to do this to your taste. This one's gonna be really, really strong. When, before I really learned about carbohydrates, grains, uh, the whole plant food way of eating, I was eating pretty much just plants and a little bit of grains, and virtually no starches, you know, like potatoes, uh, quinoa, things of that, beans. And I lost too much weight, I really did. I, I, I got way too, too light for me. I used to drink this for breakfast. This was my breakfast. But my energy level was through the roof. Um, then I got off the whole plant foot base and I started feeling bad again and I went back to it, but I learned more about starches and now I'm trying to find the balance uh, because I'm carrying just a little bit too much body fat. Not terrible amount for my age, it's actually quite good, but for me it's a little bit too much. Uh, but I wanna keep my energy up and this, this is an ongoing process, guys. You're not, you're not gonna get this. Some of y'all like, like this, most of us, it's an ongoing educational process. Some people say don't drink smoothies, some say do. It works for me. Uh, definitely going to keep it in the fall, in the spring, because I can grow all these greens. And if I was buying this, the cost would be tremendous. But, because I'm growing it, it's almost free. My green smoothie. See ya.